Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. In the previous videos I explained uh, uh, the labor and the delivery process where we explained the stages and uh, signs and symptoms. Uh, but in today's video, uh, this video is about uh, the options to control the pain during the labor and delivery. Now, there are many women uh, opt uh, not to receive medications or uh, intravenous uh, medications or uh, interventions for the pain control during the labor and delivery. And while the others choose the medical and the procedural pain control methods. Now, the several uh, different uh, Opioid analgesics and uh, opioid ag uh, agonist medications are uh, acceptable for the pain control. And the examples are like uh, uh, injectable uh, uh, mepridoin or uh, fentanyl or morphine or uh, stradol, you know, or the uh, new vein, you know. So these are the different uh, medications which are used uh, during the labor to control the pain. And the original anesthesia or local anesthesia is another option. And this can be administered as uh, an epidural spinal or the combined spinal epidural block. Now, the research has shown that regional anesthesia is more effective than the injectable medications for controlling the pain. And uh, moreover, the large-scale clinical trials uh, did not show an increase in the C-section rate in the women who opted for the regional anesthesia. So the women who choose not to receive the pain medications can use uh, breathing techniques uh, and uh, or uh, imagery for the pain control, you know, and uh, relaxation techniques and the yoga can also help to, uh, uh, and they uh, they are proved to be helpful, you know, and beneficial. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.